Let's kind of give them some numbers on a 5.65, so a 1% increase. What's that do to the consumers? Busy man. What are we doing today, man? Yeah, man. Um, so, I just wrapped up a meeting with my assistant, just going over contracts, uh, what we have. Um, I'm over here right now for my afternoon coffee. Did just devour a chicken artichoke sandwich. That what's your What's your drink of choice? Uh, red eye. It's all red tall, eye. Tall, tall oh, red yeah, eye. Yeah, That's yeah. What For anyone wondering what that is, it's, it's a shot of espresso and a regular coffee yeah. with nothing else it's in it. It's basically gasoline. Yeah, so. pretty much. I got them hooked on it. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. It is good stuff. It is good stuff. But, Where are we uh, heading next? We're heading over right next door to our in-house mortgage company with Thomas Bickett. Um, basically, what I want to talk about is with the rising of interest rates, how's that going to look like for the consumers back at home? Whether they're looking to buy a house, sell a home, or invest in real estate. Uh, I, I really want to know the differences for my buyers and their buying power. And then also in return, for when I list my seller's homes, how's it going to affect them with buyers coming into the market? Ah. You see what I'm saying? I do, I do. Boom. All right. We're heading over there now. Yeah, you just finished the sandwich and coffee. Yeah, gravy chain coffee got it locked up. Boom, dude. Hey, like look it. at this. Look. What's that? Love your beverage or let them know. They'll always make it right. That's and on that note, like we will see you there. In a volatile market where interest rates are going up and going down, consumers really don't know. Now, there's no crystal ball to it to where, are we going to know if interest rates are going to go up? Are they going to mm -hmm. stay where they're at? However, I just wanted to give a brief a breakdown of what the numbers are if and when interest rates go up. Tom, thanks again for your time. Always. Uh, I wanted to bring some information to my buyers and sellers and uh, outside source clients that are on my Facebook page. Basically just talking about the threats that we're hearing in the interest rates rising, right? So, without further ado, Tom, talk to me a little bit about what interest rates are doing and what they're threatening to do. It's always hard to look in a crystal ball, Vinny. Right. But right. what we can do is kind of look historically where we've been, um, where we've come, and where we're going. Okay. So, we've just come out of an environment where we've seen the lowest interest rates ever. Yeah. You know, between 2013, when they kind of hit the bottom through the summer of last year, we saw 30 year interest rates in the three and a quarter to three and a half percent range, mm -hmm. which is completely unheard of. Yeah. Um, when I first got in the career in 2005, good quality borrowers are getting interest rates at seven and a quarter. Yeah. So you can see how quickly. What it are interest rates as of right now? So right now we're selling interest rates somewhere in the four and a half to four point seven five percent range for good quality borrowers. <clears throat> nice. So in about six months we've come off those lows and we've seen a move higher. Right. Um, most of the catalysts are a couple things. One, um, a lot of people are calling the Trump effect. A yeah. lot of people are betting that the economy is going to do better, whether it is or isn't unseen yet. But yeah, um, we don't have that crystal. Ball. Right. We have we have a tax <laughs> reform that took place went in effect this year, so mm -hmm. more people can have more money to spend. When people spend money, it goes in the economy and that goes into inflation. And the only key financial tool our policymakers have to stave off inflation is increasing their interest rates. Mm. Right, so the Federal Reserve in December of 2016 came out and said, we plan on raising our key interest rate at least nine times over the next three years. <laughs> we're, yeah. we're about 15 months into that strategy okay. and they've okay. held the course. They've raised they've rates gone up. five times in the last 15 months. And most people believe they're gonna continue with that course. So as they raise their key interest rates, that filters out into other areas. Into the marketplace. And, and, and we're gonna get a normalized uh, effect in interest rates. So interest rates will continue to go up. At what pace? So Hard let's say. just hypothetically say right now we're, let's just go 4.65, right? Great. Right. Yeah, um, well, let's kind of give them some numbers on a 5.65, so a 1% increase. What's that do to the consumers for the buyer? Yeah, a 1% increase in, in rate, which for many people might think is too much, but we've seen that in the last six months. Interest right, rates right, right, right. About 1% yeah. in the last well, six that's months. threatening it to happen, so it, yes. you always want to have it in the back so of your mind. So we're in Gloucester County, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Average purchase price is approximately 200000 So let's mm -hmm. take a $200,000 loan amount. Uh, at 4.625%, your payment's approximately $1,028. Okay. Okay. If rates were to go up by 1%, that payment will go from $1,028 to $1,151. So that's an increase of about $123 a month. For just the same with, home, same, same home, property, same, same price, acreage, everything. Everything's the same. You wait for interest rates to continue to trend higher, that will cost you $123 a month. Now, 
for some that may not be a big deal. Right, right, right. Um, over the course of the first year, that's about fourteen hundred dollars in additional cost. Yeah. If you do that over the first. It's about five a vacation. Years, um, Small yeah, vacation. Yeah, 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 that's about right. But you know, most people will tend to be in their loan for about five years, seven years. That's the average amount of duration, whether they sell the property, sure. refinance sure. the property, whatever the case may be. In the first five years, that hundred twenty-three dollars a month increase is going to cost the consumer over seven thousand mm. dollars in additional interest right. cost. <clears throat> so when you really dial into the investment aspect of purchasing real estate, it definitely hinders the long-term gains. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. See, the other side of the story, some people, you know, are on a very limited budget, right? So maybe that $1,028 payment that they were able to pay at 4.65, maybe that's the maximum they can actually pay. Right. Right. So what's going to happen is they're going to diminish their purchasing power if interest rates go up. Okay. So at 5.65%, the loan amount that you can afford with the same one thousand twenty eight dollar payment drops down to one hundred seventy eight thousand. Mm. So, so I'm the consumer. I just came to you, and we were at four point six five when I initially came to you with all my documents, everything. You said, "Hey, you're you're able to purchase a two hundred thousand dollar home, right?" Yes. Interest rates tomorrow jump up. Right. I come to you. I just found the dream house. I'm in love with right at one hundred ninety five thousand dollars. Now it's not even an option for me. Correct. Wow. Correct. Yeah. Oh. So, you know, interest rates, you know, waiting, obviously, the most important thing we advise our customers to do is get pre-qualified early, yeah. actually get pre-approved early. Right, right, right. You know, it's a little bit different than a pre-qualification. Documents are in. Documents are in. So we're going to look at your credit, Verify. your income, your assets, and then we're going to validate that qualification through documentation. To lock them in. Is that a possibility? Not necessarily lock them into the interest rate. We do have some forward locks that we look to. We don't typically lock into a loan product until they're under contract. Okay. You know, but they, if they're going to be out there shopping around with confidence, they're going to want to have a pre-approval done so they know exactly where they stand. Right. They can make a, a confident offer. In, in today's world, there's not a lot of inventory, right? There's a lot of buyers that are waiting for that right property to come across. So the people that are pre-approved are definitely going to have a leg up when it comes to getting the house of their dreams. Yep. So brief in a, in a snapshot, if you wait and hold off, it's $123 difference. On this, on this example, interest rates move 1%, which they've done in the last six months. So it's, it is possible. It is possible. That just costs the consumer $123 a month in purchase. I guarantee, you, but possible. Possible. Like that. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. the purchasing power would be qualified up to $200,000. Now is only qualified up to. Correct. If their max comfort payment was 128,000 in this example, and rates move against them, that's going to diminish in their per it's going to diminish their purchasing power. Right. So they're just going to be able to afford less house. Okay. So numbers wise, it was two hundred thousand dollars, and now they're down to about one hundred seventy eight. So about twenty two thousand dollar drop in purchasing power. Just because of one percent. Because the interest rates went up one percent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Crystal Ball says, "Who knows? Who knows? Right. Right. But but all signs are pointing to." A now these normalized are normalized. Yeah, and this is all information that's that's coming to the buyer's end because obviously the buyers are the ones going and looking at the interest sure. rates. Let's kind of take a different approach too, um, because obviously I'm a listing agent as well, so I have sellers. Right. Um, what I'm hearing is interest rates go up, the buying power of people be able to afford a home in the two hundred thousand dollar range is likely going to go down. Right. Their right. buyer's buying power is going to go down. Not really sure if it'll have an, an exact impact on home value, but I'm assuming days on market are going to be longer. Yeah, yeah potentially. With a smaller mean, pool of buyers. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. I mean, if someone's trying to sell their house, if I wanted to sell my house, I would want to put my house in front of the largest swath of people that actually can afford my house. Can afford, right. right so if rates move against me, that's definitely going to impact the number of people that, that can afford my house, right? Right, which is going to make it more difficult for me to find the right buyer at the right price. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if I'm somebody that's thinking about selling my house, right, I definitely am going to want to make sure that I can get it sold when there's the most number of buyers out there. It's going to give me the best yeah. possible price for my house. Yeah. Multiple and, offers, uh, yeah. more, and, and, more and possibilities, if, and, and more opportunities. And most people who are selling, right, are going to live. Some, they got to live somewhere. So if they're going to purchase another home. A lot of times it's a, it's an upgraded home, a bigger home, right. right? The bigger the loan amount, the more impactful interest rates are, right? L payments are sensitive to interest rate and loan amount, yeah. right? So if they're going to be an upgrade mover, they definitely want to try to take advantage of 
these lower rates while they while they last. Yeah. So there's definitely an advantage to getting your house in the market, price it properly with with you, Vinny, yep. to get it in front of as many people as possible so they can sell quickly, so they can also take advantage of the lower rates while they last on their next purchase. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Tom, I think that's just about all. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks again for your time, man. You Thanks, man. People, back at home. Um, tag, comment, let me know if you have any more questions or any more information you'd like to see specifically. Right, Matt? I, I think we got it covered. I think, I think we got it did. covered, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. That was cool. That was cool. More coffee? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Come right on in here. In here. Sit down and grab a spot. Nice man. table, man. Look at that, man. Yeah. It's got the lighting. Uh, offered to us by Dream Home Abstract. They are an awesome title company, in-house affiliate who we use and recommend. Sounds like it. Yeah, man. So, um, when when we make video content, when I interview people, uh, especially just this brief interview with Tom Bickett, my goal is not to scare anybody. It's really just to be information based. Uh, it, it's just the reality to it. Uh, we don't know what interest rates are going to do. However, they're predicting they're going to go up. So if interest rates are going to go up, you need to have a plan in action. If you're in the market and you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, I don't want to sound cliche, but now's the time to do it while interest rates are lower. And I wanted to have this video so you have actual fact to where you can see the numbers and know that I'm not saying that, you know, if you wait, you're just wasting time. It's, it's, it's a hard fact that interest rates right now are 4.65 on average, and if they go up to 5.65, you see your buying power difference and you see the cost that it is to you. And that's something that could change tomorrow, if you increase, maybe decrease, but the likelihood of what's happening right now, it's most likely going to increase. Right, exactly. Yeah. And that's really what the video is for, to kind of uh, spread the awareness of yeah. that. Yeah, the opportune. I just want to give value, really, truthfully. Uh, I mean, this is what I do every day, all day. So for um, my current clients and future clients who contact me, they know the first thing we do is talk with a mortgage company. Because, again, it's not just so I'm not wasting anybody's time. That plays a part as well. But it's really, more so importantly, the consumer, the client, needs to really know their buying options, their buying power, and why it's important to be pre-qualified and uh, pre-approved. If y'all watching this, like the video. Give it a thumbs up, that little button down there, that somewhere thing. down there. Give it a thumbs up, and there's a little red rectangular subscribe button we're going to need yeah. you to hit. Yeah, that, I need you to hit that. There's a bell to it, too. Tap that. What it's going to do is let you in on all of this lovely man's secrets. And also, uh, this is going to be a, 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 lot of, a lot of stuff we're breaking down for you. Well, not we. He. I'm not the real estate guru. He is the master. The, the, the maestro. <laughs> humble, though. We're humble about it, right? We Anything else? Everybody. Anything else with that? Or are we, we leaving off? Um, what I really do is, uh, ideally, for this channel to work the way I want it to do, too, uh, I'm going to uh, incorporate a lot of just personality with it, like just outside the business. Right. When it's business, it's professional. But I also want to bring my personality to it. Most importantly, though, we need to hear back from the people watching the video. So to drop it in the comments. Speaking. Drop it. Comment below Ooh. anything that you found of value. Yes. Uh, what was the most valuable thing you've learned in this video? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Essentially. And what do you what? Because I need to know too. The people that are sitting at home. What information do you want to know? What do you want to see? I mean, outside from the entertainment that will bring, we need to know because I want to make this purposeful. Right? Amen. So, ideally, I'd like for you to watch and get a couple laughs, and that's cool. However, I want you to also leave the video and say, oh, I never knew that. That's cool. And then you can go share and tell your friends or give me a call. And then this way, when we have the conversations, they'll be even more educational-wise. Educational-wise. Does that make that word up? I mean, education. Educational-based. Education slash or, or One thing you're going to know about me, though, too, is I make up words now and then. Well, he's a real human. I am real. This isn't scripted. Yeah, this isn't scripted. This so, is, like, is, I do this trip is words. what I make, it is. I make words up, and if, it, if it's not a word, we make it one. Well, I think it, it definitely shows the, the raw and authenticity the of this. The so. real deal. With that being said, I think I think we are going to close it out here. Hate to cut you all off, but I'm sure you have uh, something else going on. Glad we could distract right. you for maybe 10 to 15 minutes Glad today. you made it this far, too. Yeah. Probably a lot of people didn't. But it's all right. It's all good. <laughs> we will catch you later in the next one. Subscribe yes. below. See you soon. And roll the delicious outro.